right, champ, I'm excited for this one, and you're cracking a wry smile. I know you are, too. This is a kickboxer of the highest order, and he's made no bones about it. He believes that if this fight is contested on the feet, he's going to wax this guy early. He's going to get the job done. He has 100% confidence that if they're standing, he's better. And why would he not? He is one of those kickboxers that is on the level of Edesanya, Pareda, and Alistair Overeem. He sits amongst the best to come from that sport and apply it to mixed martial arts. He's got a well-rounded skill set outside of kickboxing, but kickboxing is what makes him special. Yeah, it was interesting to hear Alex Pereira, the middleweight champion, praise him recently, sort of unsolicitedly. So needless to say, the eyes of the sport are fixed upon this kickboxer here today. So here is Sean Strickland, no longer the champion, but still one of the best 185 pounders in the world. He's got that high guard and outstanding boxing style. That says nothing of the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt that he hasn't had to lean upon in recent big-time UFC fights. But this man is known for having outstanding cardio. He lives in the gym. He is a born fighter. And unlike a lot of men and women on this fight night, he loves fight night. He is able to channel those nerves in the proper way. All eyes are on Sean Strickland in another massive spot here tonight. Well, so much UFC history has played out here at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Plenty more where that came from tonight. The athletes are ready to go. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. We set it inside the octagon. We find Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Now we're producing his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former USC middleweight champion of the world, Sean Strickland. Herb Dean, third man in the octagon Ready. tonight. All right, so here's the bona fide UFC middleweight contender, Sean Strickland. Once he found his weight class, he has been unstoppable. A lot of people believe that eventually 12 pounds of UFC gold are going to be wrapped around Sean Strickland's waist. If that is going to be his reality, tonight is one he's got to have, and he believes the clinch game is going to be the key to his success here tonight. Well, that'll quiet the storm shot blocked by Strickland. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Good right hand on the top. Able to find a home for that right hand once again. It's just a really high pace, too. It's a really high striking pace for these two. Oh, nice counter jab there. Good straight hand there by Strickland. 
beautifully timed and placed front kick there by the kickboxer, and that's going to allow him, I would think, to really maintain this range against the overall more well-rounded fight. I mean, yeah, he's in there with a guy that would seem to have more ways to win the fight, but if he stays at range here, kicking range, he's the best at that. So he needs to continue down this path, continue to throw those kicks straight at him and dart at him, poke at him to keep him at space so that he can fight his fight. Nice combination. Two minutes have expired here in our opening round. Oh, what a connection Ryan there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. Strickland's in half guard now. Massive shot from the top. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Oh, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. All right, hammer fist here by Bisbee. Nice defense. Two minutes to go here in round one. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Try to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Strickland getting absolutely worked from the top here on the wrong end of nearly all of these ground and pound strikes. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Bisping's pass attempt denied. My right, crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the field. They may be... Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Oh! 45 seconds to go here in round one. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Bisping gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that. Fifteen seconds to go. Bisping's eye is closing up now. Not good for him. Second oh, round, no. straight ahead. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is... When you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth. But the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? You ready to fight? You ready? Round two here. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Oh, that's a beautiful land downstairs with the kick. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, my goodness.
inside leg kick. Oh, you gotta start to look to finish him now. Big right hand. Left hand counter there. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. with the left punch there. Beautiful straight punch there by Strickland. Look at that. Recognize he was about to lose position. This is where he wants to be. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time. And it is showing in this performance. All right, so you can see some swelling on the facial region now as his opponent lands yet another strike, and that one was clean. I mean, this guy is so clean with his strike. He knows exactly what he wants to accomplish, and he does a great job of doing just that. Right into side control. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Strickland. Oh, man, every time he lands, it's right on that cut. That is going to have a profound impact on him moving forward. This is a terrible position. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and now by Strip. Big, big. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's going to be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned. Because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. One final time to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at two minutes, 50 seconds of round number two. To play the winner by TKO, Sean Strickland! Well, the celebration is on over there in the corner, and nothing subdued about it. They put a lot of time into this training camp and into this performance, and certainly their athlete delivered. It was a result that they desired. They 